the penalty area to get you into a position to, well, we've already seen have a chance to just tap it home. You know, even that would be nice. Any sort of goal would be nice, but we haven't seen too many strikes from distance on target tonight from either side. Just feel there's a mistake there waiting to happen. Let's hope it's uh, an Arsenal player who makes that mistake. Off this cheek. Chelsea dictated the tempo of the 90 minutes. Can't really see that changing. That's too much, much of Aki. Just his third change is uh, imminent. It's going to be Adam and Diti who will come on. Here's a phobic. I'd be interested to see where he, where he plays, Adam. In the past, we've known him play forward. We've seen him play at full back as well. I just wonder. Well, cross not cleared a phobic. Slices his shot wide. Poor shot, isn't it? Doesn't make good contact with the ball here. Poss possibly bobbling a little bit. But... Somebody on the Arsenal bench said, be aware of the pullback. I think Baker's going to go direct. Oh, he did, and he almost squeezed it in. Back with him now from Farouz. Oh, brilliant, off the crossbar. How clever was that from Lewis Baker? Well, it was worthy, wasn't it? Worthy of winning that cup tie for sure. And the first one was good enough. Islam Farouz does well to keep the ball alive. But the second one, what an attempt this is. It's ingenious. Deserved the goal. He just watched it fly over his head and hoped for the best. Aki. Here's Baker again. And DT. Back up to the full complement now. Baker again, clever enough to see the opportunity, didn't get the connection he wanted. That Hayden managed to get his crossover somehow. Okay, and there was only a phobic showing any interest in it, really, though. Farouz, can he get in between the defence here? He has done. Islam Farouz. On he goes. Still with Farouz. Oh, it's a really good block in the end by Semir J. Strong run from Farouz. That's great. Good old keeper. He tried one of those in the first half, far post. Overcooked it this time. Undercooked it. Phobic. One minute more at the end of this half. Phobic. Harper. Again, Harper. It's a good return ball. Cross into the middle, not properly cleared. Real chance. Aki somehow blocks it. It's back with Eisfeld again. And Chelsea get it clear, well Arsenal have hardly threatened, but well, that was a massive opportunity, it's not over yet, Harper, well tackled. Adam and Diti, excellent there, but some bodies being laid on the line, wasn't there, to make sure they got... Oh, here's a Fobe, real chance, he's taking it. 19 seconds after the restart, Arsenal get the game's opening goal. It's Benica Fove, who's barely had a look in all night, but he's beaten Mitchell Beeney now. It's Chelsea nil, Arsenal won. Well, there's nothing really that Mitchell could have done to prevent this, but talk about tired minds switching off at the back. Again, it's that straight ball forward. Matt, it should be easy enough to defend against. The little clip ball over the top. I think it's Alex Davy. maybe doesn't come across far enough, or Christensen goes too far to his left. Leaves that big gap, that big hole, and the ball's gone between the two. Benikafovic finishes with a plum. Good finish by him. 
I suppose as a centre forward, that's where you want to be. Definitely. You've got to miss out that first man. You know, even if you just hang it up and give the lads a chance. Well done, Jeremy Boga. It's got to be a yellow card, surely. It was who was none too subtle with his challenge. He kept his card in his pocket. Well, maybe a chance though from the free kick. Just having another word with him. <laughs> There's a lot of talking going on. I just don't, I just think give him a yellow card because. Here we see it, look, just hanging on to Jeremy Vogel, not letting him run. That, that's a yellow card for me. It's a simple one. Does he need this discussion? I don't think so. Let's get on with the game. Only thing I would say, sometimes lapses in the game like that do eventually turn to players switching off mentally, just relaxing and their brain switches off. They don't go with their marker, so maybe it might give us a chance. We've seen the quality from Lewis already this evening. Is this another one of his uh, decent deliveries? Let's hope so. Five minutes of extra time to go. Baker puffs out his cheeks. Hey, Great ball in. Oh, it's off the post. Is it going to be one of those nights? How much closer can Chelsea come? Well, Alex Davian. Loftus cheek. Brilliantly done. Finding Farouz. Oh, he just had a heavy first touch. Magnificent play from Loftus cheek initially. Farouz couldn't do it. Just Seconds left, it's got to go forward quickly. Aki. Last chance saloon, isn't it? Yeah, right decision. It's got to go in there. Good defend from Boateng, away from Ndidi. Yeah, he's done well there, solid, wasn't he? It's Arsenal who go through to the semi-finals of the Premier League Under-21 Cup. Chelsea gave it everything they had, were undone in extra time by Benica Fovey's goal. Dermot Drummond's team can be proud of their effort. They had the better of the play and the better of the chances, but it was the one moment of ruthlessness from the Arsenal forward, which means it is they that progress to the last four in the first year of this competition. Chelsea will be disappointed, but can look back on the game with some pride. Nathan Thanaki led the team courageously, but it wasn't to be the Blues' night. Final score, Chelsea nil, Arsenal 1.